Jesus, my Lord. It has always been said that this world will be a better place when we seek the good of others and not just our own good all the time. Most of the things we do for others literally affect us one way or the other, either good or bad. Sometimes people find it difficult to get help because they refuse to give help. It has been discovered that there are some vacuums in our lives that we need people to help us feel because we lack what it takes to feed it ourselves. It has been said, do unto men that which you want men to do unto you. And Jesus validated this point in Matthew chapter 6 verse 15. He said, but if you forgive not men their trespasses, how will your heavenly father forgive you your trespasses? In other words, when you forgive, you will be forgiven. When you refuse to forgive, you will not be forgiven. For the past few weeks, we have been laying emphasis on the fact that you need to encourage yourself, the second fundamental in peace. Encourage yourself. Tell yourself you can make it. But by the grace of God, going forward today, I want to admonish you. There's need for you to encourage others. There's need for you to be a source of encouragement to others. At times, the little you have is all you need to get the much that you are looking for. This may sound ridiculous, but it is true. There are so many persons, they, the, the, the only thing they need is that little you have. You need much, you have little. You refuse to give the little you have. How will you get the much that you need? In Matthew chapter 14, verse 17, scripture said, And they said unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. Verse 18, And he said, Bring them hither. Just five loaves and two fishes. And Jesus said, Bring it. It looked little compared to the need. It looked little compared to the number of men and women and children that needed to be fed. But Jesus said, Bring that little. Verse 20, Matthew 14 20. And they did all it and were filled. And they took up of the fragment that remained 12 baskets full. How did five loaves and two fishes become 12 baskets? The little the lad had, he released it and he was amazed at the abundance he received. I repeat again, the little you have may just be what you need to release to get the much you are looking for. A young man going for an interview wants faithful money on his way to the venue of the interview. He discovered that a certain man along the road needed help to change his style. Several persons were walking by. This young man volunteered to help the man. He helped the man change the tire. And when they were done, the man asked him, Where are you going to? And the young man told the man where he was going to. The man kept quiet and said, I will drop you off. And he took the young man to the gate of the company he needed to be interviewed. When he dropped him, he zoomed off. To the amazement of the young man, when he got to the time for him to be interviewed, he entered into the room and discovered that the man he helped earlier in the day was the chairman of the interview panel. You can conclude what will happen after that. Encourage us, learn to lend a helping hand unto others. A man once said, God will make happen for you what you make happen for others. It was said in Acts chapter 4, verse 36, and verse 37. Acts 4, 36, 37. There was a certain man, a certain man who was called Justice, and he was so named Barnabas, meaning the son of consolation. He was a son of consolation. He took it upon himself to let the happy now to others. It is good to encourage yourself. It is good to fight for yourself. It is good to protect yourself. But it is also beneficial to be of a help to others. It's also beneficial to encourage others. A woman told the pastor, pray for me. I want God to bless me. But the pastor said to her, you are doing well. What else do you need? He said, I want God to bless me. I want to know the channel to which my promotion will come. And after much interview, she said to the pastor, whenever I give to others, I discover that I am being blessed. But sir, must I give to be blessed? The blessing should just be coming without me giving. And the pastor said, get out of my office. You already know your channel of blessings. And you are looking for another. There are so many persons that are yet to discover the channel of their blessings. 
this world was not created for you alone. I once said, Christ did not die for you alone. He died for us all. John 3.16 That whosoever, whosoever is a black check, it is good for you to have peace. Most times, your peace is connected to the level of help you are able to render to others. There are some instances whereby the situation of people change. The situation of people improve when they lend help in hand to others. I was being told of a story. A man entered the church and entered the man. The church was already full. And a young lad stood up and offered his chair for this elderly man to sit. When they were done with the journey, the elderly man asked the young man, Where are you going to? And the young man said, I'm going to look for greater pastors. And the elderly man gave him a complimentary card and said, When you are ready, call the number of this card. And when the young man called the number of the card, they gave him a direction. When he got there, he discovered that this elderly man was a multi millionaire. That is how his life changed. Be of a happy hand to others. Be a support system to others. Be an encouragement to others. It is good to encourage yourself. It is also good to be a source of encouragement to others. How many persons can say, I succeeded because of you? How many persons can say, I am what I am today because of you? May the Lord grant us understanding in the name of the Lord Jesus. A classical case is in Job chapter 42 verse 8. Job 42 8. He said, Therefore take unto yourselves now seven bullocks and seven rounds and go to my servant Job and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering and my servant Job shall pray for you and him will I accept lest I deal with you after your folly in that ye have not spoken of me the thing which is right like my servant Job. What was happening here? Job was in pain. We know the, the parent that Job went to and yet God was speaking to the friends of Job and said to him said to them take seven bullocks meet my servant Job and let him pray for you this was Job that needed help this was Job that needed prayer this was Job that needed intervention and God was saying to his friends go to Job let Job pray for you does it look somehow the scripture gave us a clear understanding in verse 10 it said and the lord told the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends and the lord gave job twice as much as he had when job prayed for his friends his captivity was torn when he encouraged his friends he got encouragement when he sought to improve the lives of his friends his own life was improved have you ever asked despite the unexplainable harsh and controversial bitterness that Job was going to, despite the sorrow and the reproach that Job had, how was he able to align himself to pray the kind of prayer that God will answer? How was he able to fight in his spirit to intercede and get the approval of God? Job 32 has said, but there's a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth him understanding. May the Lord give us understanding today in the name of Jesus. Matthew 21 19. Matthew 21 19. There's a story. The Bible said, and when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. The fig tree withered away because it had no value to add. The fig tree withered away because it had no value to give. What value are you adding to the lives of others? How much have you contributed to improve the lives of others? Look, chapter 12, verse 15 said, And he said, This will I do. I will put down my barn and build greater, and there will bestow all my fruit and my goods. And I will say to my soul, So thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine eyes, take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. This story was full of I, 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 no space for God, no space for others. Verse 20, God announced. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul will be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? When your life is full of me, myself, and I, there's a limit you can get to in life. Why you need to stabilize and encourage yourself, make provision for others. Most times, the good you are looking for will come when you give good to others. Most times, the peace you are looking for will come when you give peace to others. Most times, the blessings you are looking for will come when you are a blessing to others. Most times, the answers to your prayers will come when you pray for others. I pray today, the Lord give us.
God's grace and understanding. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. It is well with you. In Jesus' precious mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah.